Hey everyone, so uh, it is actually decently early today. Last night I decided to paint this platform like a blue, like a light blue, I don't know. Um, I wanted to show you guys, so I left the back with that like worn down look because I loved it, but I couldn't get the front to look like the back. So it's all blue and I, I like it. It still works for Winter Wonderland. I'm just gonna show you guys this stuff really quick because you guys have been interested in my mealworm setup. Um, I wasn't gonna do anything until I got them a new setup, but I'm gonna go ahead and get the beetles into something new because, well, the overcrowding is very serious at this point. Um, so yeah, I use cornmeal. I also grind up kitten food since the animals that eat the cornmeal, um, so I use cornmeal. I don't use wheat bran. I use cornmeal because it's easiest to sift. Um, wheat bran kind of sticks in the sifters. So yeah, I use cornmeal. Cornmeal is not the most nutritious for insects, so what I also do is I grind up um, kitten food and dog food. The mealworms eat that with the cornmeal. The, the kitten and dog food is very nutritious for them. But before I get the bugs in it, I am going to be baking this for two hours at 200 degrees. This will, in theory, hopefully kill off any mites. I've been doing this with all of my stuff um, because grain mites are a pain to deal with if you get them. So, um, yeah, I'm going to bake these. You don't usually have to do it with human grade stuff, but I'm not about to take any chances. So, um, I'm just going to put one bag in each of these trays, pop them in the oven. Two hours for 200, I'll probably give them, um, a stir at the hour mark. You definitely don't need this grade of, uh... This, this cornmeal is like fancy cornmeal. I usually just get the Walmart stuff, but this was on sale with Amazon, so it was about the same price as the, the Walmart stuff, and I could get it brought to me, which is great. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna bake this, and then we'll set the mealworms up, or not the mealworms, we'll set the beetles up, that is, and get everything situated. Yeah, get this in the oven. And we'll just let it hang out for two hours. And like I said, I'll probably end up stirring this about at the hour mark since they're a little bit deep. And um, I'm actually probably gonna go shower now. I'm taking forever. I just wanted to get that done really quick. Um, woo! I almost walked right into the cat. Hello, sir. How are you? Are you comfortable? I'm gonna scratch your butt. I'm gonna scratch your butt. Hmm? Oh, hello. Hi. You're so cute. You're so stinking cute, even though you're so mean. Just so mean. Oh my goodness, look at this crazy kitty. All right, so I ground up some of the kitten food that I'm gonna be using. Um, I just used my magic bullet, to be honest with you. And I just ground it into a powder. You'll probably end up with some chunks if you use this instead of like a coffee grinder or something that's meant for 
tougher things, but I'm gonna put this in a container and then I'm gonna do a little bit of dog food. And yeah, the, the cornmeal is almost done. I wanted to mention that if you're gonna use like cat or dog food, um, you can also use like chicken crumble, that's a popular one. Um, but specifically cat and dog food, if you're gonna be using that, put it in the freezer first because if you'll notice, the kitten food I used came out of the blender really clean, but the dog food I used didn't, and that's because it's my dog's dog food, and it wasn't in my freezer, and cat and dog food is actually kind of greasy, and so you get a lot of stickage, which is not any fun. But yeah, I did less dog food than cat food because this is... Um, my insects are predominantly for my, ooh, the cornmeal is done. Shut up. Um, but the insects themselves are predominantly for my hedgehogs this time of year. I mean, the rest of the year they're for my tenric, hence the kitten food in my freezer. Um, but yeah, I feed them what they eat or what they can eat because... Whatever goes in the mealworms goes into them. So, yeah, now I gotta scrape this gunk off of my magic bullet and get the cornmeal out. So, I gave the cornmeal a good stir during the uh, baking process. I will say that I think this cornmeal is kind of floury. Um, compared to some of the like cheaper stuff which is more grainy and you have to be a little bit careful with the flowery stuff it doesn't seem too dusty um, you have to be a little bit more careful that your bugs don't suffocate <laughs> uh, but it should be fine that's why sometimes people have trouble if they grind up their oats um, to make them easier to sift. Sometimes people have trouble with their insects dying off because they, you know, suffocate <laughs> in all the dust. But I think it should be fine. If not, well, that's okay. <laughs> so this has to cool off completely. It is very warm and uh, it will kill your bugs if you put them in here while it's this warm. I gotta get containers ready anyway until I get a new setup that I actually enjoy. I'm gonna be using, where are they? Uh -huh. I'm gonna be using this for my beetles. Which is just a dollar store storage box. Um, don't know what size it is because it's cut off, but it's made for shoes. So I'm gonna wash that and, um, get it ready. Okay, so let's see where we can put you. That'll work. I've got half of a, just a cardboard egg carton here that I'm gonna lay in over a carrot. Um, as like a hiding space. I will be using a lid with this bin because it has fresh dog and cat food in it and my cat will be very interested. So I have a lid that is almost completely meshed over. Like I said, like you don't wanna build up too much humidity. And then we've gotta get our poor beetles in there who are extremely overcrowded. Don't know if you can see that, but we'll just pop these in. I'm gonna keep these little cardboard pieces in there even though they're tiny because um because they could have put little babies on them and there are definitely babies in this container so I'm going to shake the beetles pretty vigorously even though the press is going to kill my lungs Oh, I see an adult mealworm in there. How in the world? Well, let's get that out. Sometimes I use... Um, see, that's how you know the, meal, the beetles have been on there too long. The mealworms are very, very grown. So, 
Um, let's get the mealworms out. Get these beetles in there. Sorry guys, get off the screen. There you go. Oh yeah. There's a fair bit of mealworms in there. So this is another grow out bin. This has some youngsters in it as well. In fact, if you look very closely, this camera will not do that without me holding it, but there are actually shed from very tiny little mealworms. So what I'm gonna do to get the rest of these beetles out of here, is I'm just gonna sift it over this because the babies can go in there without me having to worry about losing any. And we only have two. So we'll just pop these guys in, get some food, do your thing, and move on to some more. And then this, we'll just set aside for the time being. That's, that's grow out. What's today's date? There was already grow out in there, so I probably don't need to do this, but we'll do 12, 20. There we go, that's a grow out bin. And these guys are super hungry. I'm gonna move this. There's only one beetle all by himself that has found out that there is food under that. <laughs> well, eat up, sir. You enjoy yourself. I'm gonna move this closer over here. So they know. And since there has been some overcrowding, knock some of these guys off by this food. Since there has been some overcrowding, um, it is more than likely that some of these guys are like starving, as you can see by the crowding here. Because not everybody's gonna be able to eat if you have a ton of them in one bin. And since Finn isn't eating, I'm actually letting all of these mealworms, which look pretty gross right now and like some of them look dead, I am letting them all pupate, which means I'm letting them all turn into like these little alien things that you guys have seen me um, feed to Gimli before. Let's see if I've got any newbies that can go in the new bin. I do. Um, also, I got a question about why sometimes I use tweezers and sometimes I don't. Uh, if I think I'm going to smoosh it by trying to get it with my finger, I will use tweezers. Oh, there's three. Smart cookies. Get on. Don't hold on. Trust me, you want to be in there, not on the paper towel. Trust me, my friend. You want to be in with the food. So if Finn was awake right now, I'd be feeding more than carrots um, because he needs more nutrition than carrots since he doesn't eat kibble. Do you have shed stuck on your leg? Well, you're up now. Flip you over, there you go, come on. Not on my finger, goof. There you go. Oh my God, you're an adult, you should know better. Um. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, if Finn was awake, I'd be doing like kale and all kinds of stuff. Um, lots of dark leafy greens, lots of um, just pretty much anything that I would want Finn to eat. Um, come on, are you dying? So the darker these get, the, um, the older they are. And the older they are, the more likely they will die soon. So you'll see some that are like brown and... I don't know why I'm helping all of you guys because you just flip, e flip yourselves over all the time. What? Is some is everyone prejudiced against this middle carrot? Is anyone eating the... Oh, there's a bunch eating the one on the inside. What's wrong with this middle carrot? Stop being elitist. There's nothing wrong with that carrot. Um, anyway, what was I saying? I get so distracted. Um, yeah, if he was eating, I would be 
much more like strict about what I'm feeding. But since it's just the hedgehogs and they are on a staple diet already that is nutritionally balanced and sound, I'm just going to toss in some carrots because they're easy, they don't mold very easily, and uh, I can just leave them in. So, yeah. Finn is out and he clearly thinks it's time to eat, but he's like an entire hour early. Also, that's not Finn, that's Blaze. Wow. Hmm. Names. <laughs> I guess I can give him his food now. I know, I'm in here early. I had to, I had to switch the beetles over who are going absolutely insane for food. They were, they must have been kind of starving. Oh, that one's flipped over. Well, you're dumb. Again, this carrot. I don't understand why they don't like it, but I'm going to give it to the mealworms because they'll eat it. There we go. Mealworms have a rejected carrot. Okay, you poor pathetic thing. Get off my finger. No, I'm just helping you flip over. Okay, you're stupid. Hey, goofball. You are up so early. What are you doing? You have poop on your fleece. Gross. Well, you always have poop on your fleece. You have poop right in front of your fleece. Hello. You have your butt on garbage. I cleaned the pig's little, 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 little area. Little litter area. And I used my last pad. I need to pick some more up. Oh my goodness. Look at this cuteness. What do you want? Hello? Are you smelling the door? Does it smell like edible things? Well, they're not edible. <laughs> the pigs are running laps and the cat is very interested. No. Their door is closed, but no, you're not bugging them. You better get out of here. I will... I will bunk you in the face with a cage door. I will turn on the vacuum. These two are so excited about something. <laughs> Every time I turn around, he runs and I miss it. Oh, there he comes. <laughs> He's so cute. stopping to eat. Nah. Hey. Yeah. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you, Den Mother, for supervising. Hello. Don't chew your own butt. Ew, I got cornmeal. I've got a cornmeal handprint. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> oh. That's too funny. I guess I should have showered after I, uh, did all of that. Hello. Hello. What are you wagging your little curly pigtail for? Huh? <laughs> I can't get over the, the cornmeal handprint. Alright. I have to charge my camera. It's saying it's dying. And the night's not even over yet. Can you believe that, Bear? Can you believe my camera has decided it wants to die and it's only 9.30? How dare it? Hi, I'm talking to you. The camera doesn't want to focus on you or Gimli. Why? It hates you guys. It's so rude. It's really rude. Can you believe that? Can you believe Canon would be so rude not to focus on pugs and hamsters? <laughs> Okay, I have to, I really do have to charge my camera. Oh my gosh, you got your tail. Don't bite your tail. It's rude. Or do it more, but on camera.
Okay, 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 okay. Let it go, let it go. It's fine. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, apparently the mealworms don't mind the rejected carrots. <laughs> Come on over. You can get a pupa. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is the only thing I can really get him to eat from me, which, um, is probably not the most healthy, uh, thing. The most healthy treat to support. Yeah, because you can't have a bunch of buggies every single day. Wait, okay. So now that I've gotten you with like a couple pupa, how do you feel about just eating straight up food? Oh my goodness. Look, that's a piece of food. How do you feel about that? Oh, well, I threw it at you. But that. Not my finger, please. Is one of them moving in your cheek? Did you not kill it first? That's my finger. There you go. And a pumpkin seed? What are you thinking of pumpkin seed? You thinking about it? Oh, sunflower seed? Yeah, that one's better, huh? What about a pumpkin seed? Goals. I got it. I'm digging out of the hamster food drawer. What? Oh my god, you're so cute. You're precious. Are you frozen? Pew, 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 pew. Oh my god, look at you. You're so cute. No, you don't want that? What about that? No, nope, don't want that either. What about... Oh, the thing you really want. What about that? Oh, yes. Look at that cute little belly. Okay, I'm gonna get some pictures of him because he's adorable. Which side do you want? The long side? There you go. Okay, bye. <laughs> All right, now let's see the piglets. Oh, they're almost done. You guys are so fast. Oh, I'm so zoomed in. Wow, <laughs> he's really zoomed in. Hello. Hello. How are you? Are you being a big old nugget of cute? Oh, you look like a big old nugget of cute. Oh my goodness, so cute. Hi. <laughs> so close to the camera. Well, I think that's where we're ending the vlog today. Uh, <laughs> with the cutest noises ever. That lettuce is starting to get on the flimsy side, so I'm surprised it's even really sounding crunchy as they eat it. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, Vlogmas is starting to come to an end. Can you believe it is already day 20? We've got five more days and I still haven't even decided how I'm gonna do Christmas Day. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you all tomorrow.